How did it go? Like this, perhaps? I want all x's on one side, all numbers to the other. To move negative 7, I add positive 7 to both sides, and negative 7 vanishes on the left and reappears as positive 7 on the right. Now, what about the x's? I have a positive 4x to move, so I subtract 4x from both sides. And it turns up as negative 4x on the left. And we have our answer, x equals 20. Substitute 20 for x in our equation to check the answer. The more you practice with equations like these, the better you will understand the rule for moving terms using addition or subtraction. Now, what about that second rule we promised you? What else can we do to simplify equations? Think of our balance again. We can increase or decrease, by an equal amount, the number of copies of what we find on each side. Stacking on more copies of the same thing is called multiplying. Stacking fewer is dividing. We can multiply or divide both sides of an equation by the same number without losing our balance. But don't use zero. It doesn't work. Let's give it a try. We have the equation 3x equals 12. We'd like to simplify the left side down to 1x, which is the same as x. 3x is algebra for 3 times x, and that's multiplication. So to simplify it, we'll use division. We divide both sides by a number that will remove that 3 from the x. Yes, we divide by 3. 3x three divided by 3 is x. And 12 divided by 3 is 4, which gives us just what we wanted. x equals 4. Just remember to divide both sides by the same number. And not just any number that is not zero, pick one that helps simplify. Try this one. What will you divide here? Pause the program, find your answer, and then let's work it out together. I want a number that will remove that 11 and leave a simple x on the left side. The number that will do that is 11, and happily, it also goes evenly into 55. I divide both sides by 11 and find x equals 5. Get more practice by solving problems like this in your textbook. And now let's put it all together and try one last problem that uses both of our rules for solving equations. Here's a hint. Start by getting the expressions with x on one side and the plane numbers on the other. How? By using the addition and subtraction rule. The rest is up to you. Pause the program while you solve the equation. When you're done, we can compare our paths to the answer. Did your solution go something like this? Move 3x to the left, where it ends up as a negative 3x. Combine 5x and negative 3x. That gets us down to 2x minus 2 equals 14. We can move that negative 2 to the right side where it becomes a positive 2 by adding positive 2 to both sides. So now we know that 2x equals 16. Getting close, if we can just get rid of the 2 and keep the x, we're there. We can divide both sides by 2 and reduce the fractions. That gives us an answer. x equals 8. Ah, but can we be sure? Yes, we can, by testing our answer in the original equation. If x equals 8, we can substitute 8 wherever x occurs in the original problem. Next, we simplify the arithmetic until we find that we're right. 
x equals 8. The problems will get harder in other modules, but the rules won't change. So don't let them stop you. Just use what you know, and you'll do fine.